now see dears whole of these concept can be understood by this particular example now see in this question the equation of directrix is given that is 3x minus 5y plus 7 is equals to 0 and the coordinates of focus is 3 comma 1 and we have to find out the equations of parabola ellipse and hyperbola okay we know that for parabola the eccentricity is equals to 1 for ellipse it is given that e is equals to 1 by root 2 obviously it must be less than 1 but greater than 0 and for hyperbola e is equals to 2 now i have made the straight line that is the directrix and the focus that is a fixed point 3 comma 1 now what i have to do i have to find out d1 and d2 and what is my basic formula that is e is equals to d1 by d2 for all the three examples right now what you understood that equation of parabola is y square equals to 4ax but it is the most basic equation of the parabola in that equation the vertex is 0 comma 0 okay but right now it is not possible it could be something else which is uh, either um, either anything other than 0 comma 0 okay now what is the distance d when you just see this d1 is equals to h minus 3 whole square plus k minus 1 whole square under the root got this what about d2 d2 is the distance of the point from the line that is 3 h minus 5 k plus 7 whole upon under the root of 9 plus 25 that is equals to 3 h minus 5 k plus 7 whole upon root over 34 now for the equation of parabola we know that e is equals to 1 it means what d1 equals to d2 it means that equation of parabola is h minus 3 whole square plus k minus 1 whole square equals to 3 h minus 5 k plus 7 upon root over 34 got this dears and we have to square them and to find out the locus we have to convert h and k into x and y also so what will be the equation of parabola it is x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square equals to 3x minus 5y plus 7 upon 34 and 3x plus minus 5y 7 ka whole square you got this or not i think that's very very easy what about the ellipse we were to just put the value of e at that place nothing else so just to find out the equation of ellipse we have to put the value of e nothing else we know that d1 square equals to e square into d2 square now what is the value of d1 we have already find out we have to just put the values and we can convert h and k into x and y also so your result will be x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square equals to 1 by root 2 whole square into 3x minus 5y plus 7 whole square upon 34 this is the equation of ellipse and last is the equation of hyperbola now it's nothing new we have to just put the value of e nothing else but all these things are a bit different from the earlier which we are reading in your 11th class why because in those cases we have learned the most simplest form of the parabola ellipse and hyperbola but right now these are the cases in which the center is not the origin so in this case it will be x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square equals to 4 into 3x minus 5y plus 7 whole square upon 34 got this my dears now any confusion i think it should, it must be clear otherwise you just go through once more you will get each and everything okay dears